Hey guys, this is uh, King Bedox here. I'm one of the main Aether devs for uh, the Aether mod on Minecraft. Um, this is just a small video to show you some of the new features we've implemented in um, 1.4.5 uh, for the Aether mod release. Um, there's a few bugs and a few things which aren't quite finished yet, but I'm just going to basically release this video just to show um, things other than images, because all we've been doing on the uh, Aether fan page on Facebook is just showing images, so I thought this would be a cool idea, just doing a video instead, you get to hear my voice for the first time, it's uh, not that interesting, I'm Australian by the way, as you can tell, um, uh, but anyway, I'm going to get straight into the game. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is the new mount system, which isn't quite finished yet, but um, it's, it's getting close, it's getting there. Uh, I would say that it's probably better than some of the other mount systems for other mods, and um, especially for the vanilla game, uh, the peak mounting system. Um, because instead of using um, you know, a carrot on a stick to move around by aiming, uh, you actually use the WASD on your keyboard, um, you look around with your mouse to, you know, to point your pick to each direction. It's a lot easier to control. Um, in terms of rendering, it's a lot smoother. Um, it doesn't rely so much on the server. Um, it's just, to, at least for us, it seems to be a lot better than the vanilla system and some other um, mount systems. Um, but of course, it's still in the beta stage, so we're not sure if it's going to be the final mount system. Um, but we'll see what you guys think, and if you think that it, it seems pretty good, then uh, we'll keep it. Um, I'm going to get straight into it. Uh, first, I'm just going to show it around on a normal um, world, and then I'm going to open it up to LAN and use my other computer to um, just demonstrate what it looks like on server, basically. Um, so, um, the first thing I should note is that uh, the bottom of the sky is black uh, due to a bug that will be fixed. It's just because... Um, in normal dimensions, the bottom of the sky is always black uh, because of the void. Um, it will be fixed at one stage, it's just a small bug that is currently um, in the Aether and uh, it will be fixed by the time 1.4.5 is out. Um, so I'm just going to spawn a pig first, a flying pig, and I'm going to put a uh, saddle on it and I'm going to ride it. So the first thing you'll notice is that the, the pig does look uh, directly at the um, mouse cursor, which is good. Um, it points um, its uh, rotation directly towards where the player is looking, um, so it works quite well. Uh, the only bug we've been experiencing, or one of the bugs at least, is that the, the shadow tends to glitch a bit. Um, that's just due to a server side issue, but um, it should be fixed at one stage. Um, but it, it does work quite well, as you can see, like, it, it doesn't glitch around, um, it's really smooth, this is all using the WSD keys, it's um, not using just pointing with a carrot stick or anything like that, um, it's all completely player controlled, you can jump perfectly, just like the original Aether. Um, as you can see, these are some of the new trees that um, we just implemented uh, recently in the new tall grass. I should have mentioned that, but uh, if you've been following the A, the fan page, you would have seen a lot of that stuff. Um, there's also kind of, they're kind of like pine trees, I guess you could say. They're really pine trees, but they're, they're interesting. Um, we're trying to add a lot of variation in terms of the generation, um, other than just, you know, terrain. We're going to try and put flora and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> uh, the massive skyrit trees, they have both uh, the normal green skyrit and the really dark, tall grey uh, gray ones, I guess you could say, over there. They're more like navy blue. Um, they're quite cool. Uh, the, the generation is a little weird. Um, as you can see there, this is another bug that we've been experiencing since we're... Because um, instead of... In the vanilla system for mounting, um, the player is attached to the pig, and it uses, it to, it uses that um, bounding box for the uh, pig. However, for this, the pig is actually attached to the player, so it's kind of the reverse. And um, as its position is set to the player, you'll see that the, the player has the original, um, its original bounding box, so as soon as it tries to walk into a wall like that, like a, a too high wall, it will start to kill the pig. Uh, obviously we're going to fix that, that's just a minor bug that we already know how to fix, this is just um, something that I decided to keep in because I wanted to make the video earlier. Um, 
so don't worry about that. As I said, a lot of things that you will already notice bug-wise, they're going to be fixed. See, uh, as you can see, the the floor now, like the um, bottom of the sky now looks blue like it originally does. As I said, it, it's just due to um, getting closer to the lower levels which makes it look like the void. Um, we'll definitely fix that. Um, one thing you might notice is that the bottom of the sky roots, uh, they have the sky root log walls. We're not sure if we're going to actually keep those, but it's just something that I decided might be cool, but it kind of looks a little artificial. like. Uh, it does generally look like a wall, so the only thing I'm considering maybe is to make a specific model or specific shape for the uh, sky, like the massive sky root generations. Um, otherwise, it's just going to look it's going to look a little I don't know, just too man-made. So we'll see about that, but that's just something I kept in for now. Um, but yeah, the the mounting system it really does work quite well. Um, Play is sitting perfectly fine, as you can see. Uh, the the positioning of the sitting is a little off. Um, also, you notice that he actually does move his um, arms like that. Uh, we'll, that will be fixed. It's just um, something temporary. But um, I I know that uh, a lot of things aren't quite perfect right now. But I just thought it would be better to make a video earlier than later. Um, it, I like to keep you guys quite informed in terms of the updates and all the um all the new additions we make, because, I don't know, it just it seems right. I like how Notch did that with um, Minecraft when he was uh, a lead developer. He he tended to, you know, keep people quite informed, uh, except for the 1.8 update back in the days, uh, the adventure update. Uh, he, he was quite secretive about that, but other things he tend to just show people, and it was, it was fun. He, he made it quite community-orientated, so I like to, I guess, follow in his example. Um, just a sheep off. Sheep off work actually perfectly fine right now. Um, this one isn't puffed up so it won't float up like uh, it normally does, but oh well. Um, I don't think there's much else to show you. I'm going to go back to spawn because uh, I'm going to show you the land capabilities and um, we'll show you what it looks like on the server. If uh, it takes me really long to get there, then I'm just going to uh, cut the video to that point. Uh, actually, I might fly up since I'm in creative. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> you can fly up while you're in creative, even while on the peak. Hey guys, I'm um, back. Uh, it took too long to get to the spawn area, so I basically just skipped the video forward. Um, I'm going to go onto my other. First, I'm going to actually first I'm going to open it to LAN on creative, and then I'm going to go onto my other computer and uh, see if we can join. Yep, see there's a player right there. I'm going to uh, readjust that a bit. Okay, um, I'm going to get this guy to also spawn a pig and put a saddle on it and ride. And um, as you can see, it, it tends to render quite fine, like he, he moves around perfectly fine. Again, this is all on server. Um, the only issue that we found so far is um, a bit of lag in terms of Y positioning. Like when he, um, let's see, when he moves up, it's a little laggy, like the tiniest amount, but it's not a huge deal. Generally, it's quite smooth for uh, you know server side, um, but we'll obviously try and optimize it some more because this isn't the final version. Um, but yeah, it, it works quite well. And um, I think that's really all I need to show you for now. Um, that's basically all there is to show. I mean, I could show you a few more shots of all the uh, new trees, etc. But that's basically it. So um, I'm going to wrap up this video. Um, this has been Kim B Dogs. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it's not exactly the best sneak peek, but um, oh. There'll be more to show in the future. So, hope you enjoyed. Catch you later.